D&D puzzles your players can actually solve. Over the last few years, I've made multiple shorts showing off my fun little D&D puzzle ideas, but a recurring theme with all of them are the commenters who are constantly yelling stuff like, Wow, you call this 3 out of 10 difficulty? That's an 8 out of 10 at the least. Or, My party would never figure this out, they just throw a fireball in the room and hope something happens. So rather than continue to pretend like clever puzzles are actually possible for D&D players to solve, I'm just gonna toss out some super easy first grader brain teasers and let you all go wild. Here's 10 stupidly easy puzzles I swear your parties can solve. Hope you enjoy. The Jigsaw Puzzle. Buy some boxes of the easiest puzzle you can find at the dollar store for each of your players and time yourself completing it once. In game, you can say there's like an ancient puzzle that has a picture of some important religious figure, location, or maybe a magic spell. And if characters roll high on religion, history, or arcana to identify it, you can give the whole group a 30 second time bonus. Out of game, plop the puzzle box in front of each player, then start the timer. If half or more of the party finishes before the time you took to complete it, plus any bonus time they earned, they beat the puzzle. Some players enjoy a more physically interactive game to play in, and the player capable of snagging their party that juicy time bonus is gonna feel like the MVP of the story. The Spike Door Puzzle. I showed this one off in a different video, but it's super simple and fun, so here it is again. The party walks into a basic room with a spike pit and a door on the other end. There's a large sign that reads, This door will only be unlocked if a bloody sacrifice has been made. There's a few bloody corpses stuck in the spikes already, and the party's left to debate what to do next. Turns out the door isn't even locked though, because the spiked person already sacrificed themselves, meaning the party could just open the door and move on. And if nobody tries to test the door at all, they may wind up pointlessly impaling themselves trying to figure this one out. Red light, green light. It's the very first squid game room, and the party needs to make it to the other end to survive or escape. Every turn, a bunch of sconces in the room switch between red and green. If green, the party can start to book it to the other side of the room, but if red, they're encouraged not to move at all. Why? Well, there's a bulky sniper turret watching them from the ramparts, shooting at the characters constantly. And if somebody moves while the sconces are red, the construct goes from a peaceful shoot down to a rapid fire hailstorm of destruction for an entire round. Then the puzzle continues. Everyone's encouraged to create their own methods of avoiding detection, like conjuring darkness or walls of stone. And the challenge comes from knowing when to dash versus spending action setting up your allies to evade the line of fire. If characters are being a little monkey brained and try to attack the construct directly, describe how ineffective their attacks are at permanently disabling the machine, but don't make it so that they wasted their whole turn and impair the construct a bit so its next attack is less likely to hit. Try to plan things so the puzzle only takes three rounds to complete and you'll be golden. The space puzzle. The gimmick with this one is the DM needing to choose which massive spaceship they're gonna let their party pilot, drawn up by our sponsors over at Shepeku. To help out all you sci-fi RPG players who are all sorely lacking in good looking art for your games, they filled the niche and are dropping up to four new maps every month. Each comes with a slew of variations to help DMs find the perfect battle map for every occasion, eliminating the hassle of game time prep, and making both your party's base and every enemy ship they encounter stand out. Higher tiers get you the fully animated versions, which are not only incredible to look at, but at a level of quality that legitimately doesn't exist anywhere else. Pledging at any tier gets you their whole backlog of works, making Chepeku's maps the best bang for your buck in the whole community. Subscribe today using the link down below. But with that said, let's get right back to the video. The Prop Hunt Puzzle There's a mimic somewhere in a room filled to the brim with junk, and the party needs to find what object in the room it's disguised as. To start, find a cluttered room image online, crack open Photoshop, and very slightly distort an object in the scene. If a player can pick out which object is the distorted one, they find the mimic and the battle can begin. If they choose wrong though, the mimic gets a surprise round and attacks whoever made the early call. Before the search, each player can roll investigation and choose a type of object in the room to focus on. If if a party member rolls high or selects the right object type, cut larger and larger portions of the image out so players have less they need to focus on. The puzzle might not last too long depending on how careful you are with the photoshopping, so I'd say make multiple mimic infested rooms and play through until you feel enough time has passed. The Dark Vision Puzzle Some people said this one was a bit too hard before, so I changed the wordings a bit to make it easier. There's a sign or something up in a dungeon room that says only those with human senses can open the door ahead. The room is pitch black 
black and filled with tons of weirdly shaped keys, but only one of them is red. Characters here with only dark vision can only see in shades of gray, so they won't be able to spot the red key easily from all the others. However, shining some actual light is one of the easiest ways to shed color in the room, revealing the key and playing into the whole human senses thing, or in this case, lack thereof. Because humans are one of a handful of races that don't have dark vision, there's a good chance your human players will already have stuff like torches on them and find the key instantly. So, depending on the party, this can range from incredibly difficult to super easy. The River Puzzle There's a river in the forest that stretches out as far as the eye can see. The river is 5 feet deep and kinda slow, but can still topple characters and soak them if they're not careful. There's literally no real danger with this puzzle, but make sure your party knows that all the items in their inventories are gonna get drenched if they barge in. Some might try to freeze their way over the water, others might cut down a tree. Whatever they choose though, it's expected that someone will figure out a workable solution at some point, and the puzzle is less difficult and more of like a creative little event to see how your party would interact in the situation. As the DM, just be super down with anything people come up with and try and figure out if it would work. If a character fails, then somebody else in the party can offer a solution. Rinse and repeat until somebody succeeds. If you really need to make this harder, then you can swap out the terrain for deadlier hazards like a lava river or something. But the base form is a classic puzzle that you can drop into nearly any traveling session. Literally any riddle. Just go on Google and type easy baby riddles. Don't you dare go out of your way to find anything more complicated than that because your party will never be able to solve them. Don't think they'd be so hard? Alright then smarty pants, riddle me this. I'm taller when I'm young and shorter when I'm old. What am I? Take a few seconds, you got it, I'm sure. And time's up. It was a candle. There's even easier ones you can grab on this website if that one was too hard, like remove my skin and I won't cry, but you might. I'll give you five seconds, good luck, good luck. It's an onion. The answer is an onion. If your party's somehow breezing through them though, I'd say grab more they have to solve in a row, but never anything individually harder than that. The beauty contest puzzle. There's a beholder in a room with a cute little top hat and beckons the party over to play its little mini game for a prize or whatever. For the contest, the party needs to present to the beholder something beautiful. Doesn't matter what it is, the party just needs to convince the beholder that it is beautiful. Let players roll performance to entice the beholder and make it easier or harder based on what's presented and the story behind it. Now that's the normal way to solve the puzzle. The easy way is to get a mirror or something and point it at the beholder because as we know, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Make it so every character has a chance to show something off and don't let anyone show off the same item twice. The build your own puzzle puzzle. This one's fun for parties that know each other pretty well and gets progressively harder depending on how foreign the characters are with each other. Just hope you have an even amount of players then put one of them into a control room and the other into a dungeon. The character in the control room has to choose between two different monsters, traps, or curses to throw down. Let's say Harold the Wizard's the guinea pig in this scenario, he's good at throwing fireballs and that's about it. For the controller, it'd be a better idea to unleash the swarm of Sturges over the Hellhound because Harold can kill them all in one hit. Just make sure there isn't metagaming from other players at the table and let the person in the control room think it through themselves. Otherwise, everyone's gonna chime in and the decision won't feel like it was made by the actual character in the room. Do this for every pair in your party, and plan things so that the encounter doesn't last any longer than two rounds. The Trolley Problem Puzzle The ripples this puzzle can make throughout the party makes for great roleplay moments for characters that are a bit too passionate about their beliefs. Some powerful magical entity, like a genie or something, has just been watching the party for a while and constantly pops in to check on their morals. On one occasion, the genie comes over with a few trolley problem situations, in the hopes of revealing each character's sensitive opinions and watching the disputes unfold. Problem one can go something like this. An evil wizard will cast a death spell on either a dwarf or an elf and forces you to decide which of the two will die. Which one do you choose? In problem two, the wizard will still kill one, except the dwarf is a thief and the elf is part of a policing force. Which one do you kill now? And then in problem three, you're the wizard and both the dwarf and the elf are children, but they'll both kill someone ten years from now if they aren't killed by you now. Do you end them? After that, just to make sure the chaos this'll cause in the party wasn't all for nothing, you can have the genie give out something like useful information or cool items, then be on its way. If you're after more fun and plain simple pill D&D puzzles, subscribe and hope the YouTube Shorts algorithm hooks you up. For once, finally, I've been Blaine Simple, and I'll see you all in the next video.